So we're going to use that third example from way back in lesson one on um, a survey about uh, college students admitting to cheating on an assignment or exam through their college career. So we're going to test that claim. And let's say you survey, you did a survey, an anonymous survey, so that your results are a little bit more credible. You find out 124 out of 214 admitted to cheating. You're going to use that data to test the claim. So like we did in lesson one, we already know that the claim in symbols, because of the more than wording, that means x is greater than. We always change our percents to a decimal. So the claim is x is greater than 0.62. The opposite or complement of being greater than 0.62 is being less than or equal to 0.62. That equal bar is in our complement, and wherever the equal bar goes, that's your null hypothesis. That means in this case, our claim is an alternative, an HA statement. And we always look at the HA to determine what type of test. We're going to be conducting a right-tailed test here. And on this one, um, we're dealing with a proportion. I know that because I have a percentage in my claim, so that's one way I know. The second way I know is nowhere in my test did I mention a mean or a standard deviation. So this is a proportion, so we want to conduct a one prop Z test in our calculator. So let's go to the video for that. Okay, hit your stack key to pull up your tests. Go over to tests. Remember that this is a proportion, so we're going to all go all the way down to one prop, prop is proportion, one prop Z test and hit enter. Notice that the entries are very different than Z test or T test. P with an O wants to know what's the proportion or percentage in your null hypothesis. Remember to write it as a decimal. Ours is 0.62 in this example. X is how many people... Um, admitted, in this case, admitted to cheating, or how many people said they did whatever it is you're looking for. So 124 out of our survey said that they admitted to it, or, or admitted to it. N is how many total people did you survey? We surveyed 214 people. Um, in this case, our um, we were doing a right-tailed test because we had the phrase more than 62 is our alternative, our HA, so we have to highlight the greater than symbol, P-O, and then hit calculate. Our p-value is 0.889. So p was 0.889. Remember that our job is to compare p to the level of significance, which is 0.01. We're looking to see whether or not p is less than the level of significance. Uh, get Get those in the same amount of decimal places to compare if you need to. There's lots of other ways to do that. 889 is much larger than 010, our level of significance. So no, our P is not less than the level of significance based on the notes you took from the pages you were instructed to, um, to read. You fail to reject the null. And that leads us into our final decision about the claim. We go to the chart. Because we failed to reject the null, and because our sorry, golly, and because our claim was an alternative, our claim was a ha. So we failed to reject, our claim was a ha. Our final answer is there was not enough evidence, which is always what you write when you fail to reject. Not enough evidence in this case to support the claim. And then we, we write support because our claim was an HA.